Hey guys, hope you've all well. Right, another little job. It is late Friday night and yeah, I was sitting in the house and boredom was really starting to kick in. So I started going over in my head what jobs I've got to do that are quiet. Not many jobs in here are quiet. So, bing, the light bulb came on. I have got a little job to do. Modify some footrests. Now they are for a BMW GS, but not my BMW GS. Although, this is possibly how I'm gonna do mine as well. It's modifying the footrest. So on these, they have really narrow footrests. They are 25 mil wide. And if you're gonna do a lot of off-roading on them, they are completely useless because they kill your feet. They are really painful if you're standing up a lot, which you tend to do off-road. So there's a little modification that I'm gonna do on my friend's GS. Like I say, it could happen to mine. We'll see how it goes because footrest, proper nice wide footrest can get quite expensive. So what we've got is these. Now you got these off eBay. I'm not sure what they're listed as. I'll see if I can find out, but uh, no, I'm not sure. Anyway, so we've got to shape these. These are I make mixed foot rest. We've got to shape them to try and double the width of these foot rests. And then they'll be a lot more comfortable to stand up on. And obviously you'll have a lot more grip for your feet to stay on the foot rest when you're going over the gnarly stuff. So I've got a bit of alloy to do some shaping. We're gonna get the curve in them first. And then what we might have to do when the curve's in there is fold them back in. It, in fact, it may be best if I fold them first. Anyway, let's see how we get on. Right, I think the safest bet is to fold them first. Fold the very ends. So I'm gonna mark them up. 20 mil in. And then we'll put them in the little folder in the wobbly voice. There we go. So we get a bit of a fold on them first, and then we'll shape the end. There is one job I may not be able to do on these, but we'll see how it goes. Like I say, it is quite late, and we don't want to upset the neighbors. Although my neighbours are pretty good. <laughs> right. The magnet's getting a bit weak in these things. That'll do. I can always see. Oh yeah, these magnets are about done. Stay. All right, let's try that again. So we're getting somewhere near, we can always mess about with that fold. Oh. There we go. I need a little bit more. No, that'd be all right. That'd be all right. All right, next bit, I've got to put a curve in them. Now, I might need a bit of heat on this. Let's see if we can do it cold. 
if you can bend stuff cold it's always good because it actually stays more even eating things up you only gotta get one bit with a bit more heat in there and it'll start shaping differently so if we can get away with it cold that would be great center is that one Oh, it is going. It might get a bit more difficult because they're tapered. I don't know if you can see that. It's a lot more narrow in the middle there than it tapers down as it goes along. So it might get a bit too tough. We'll see. We'll do our best. I think it will go with a bit of a fight. I want to keep it, to definitely keep it even so we don't get the ends ending up offset. Total overkill on the clamp, I know. Let's get that up a bit. That's working. Oh, that's good. It's going. We'll try this approach. Now then, it's starting to go a bit off, so I need to move it. So it's going off set. That one's higher. So we need more of a radius on this side. So I might have to use the heat. Let's see if I can uh, encourage that round a different way. Yeah, that's brought it around a bit. Another one of them just in the right place. We won't lose the radius. Let's start bringing them level. There we go. Still got a nice radius. Right, I actually want to take that to fold back a bit. I will carefully do it this way. Just being careful we won't end up buttering them. Just do a little bit at a time. Right. Let's 
go. I'll bring that back around a bit more this way now. I'll say, just doing it in the right place, knowing where to squeeze it and prod and poke it. Squeeze that in a bit. There we are. All right, let's see if we can get the other one to that same stage. And then I might have to be uh, very quick with the grinder because I need to shave a tiny bit off them for them to fit. now is uh, <laughs> do a bit of grinding it is a bit late but i'll risk it it's only a tiny bit just got to take a little bit of that well back because it's sticking out a bit and then because this part of the foot rest the actual bracket that bolts to the bike sort of angles away i've got to grind a bit of an angle on that bit for it to slide together a bit of that weld off first. running through the middle. I'm going to tap that side. That's got it. What I won't be able to do tonight, because, like I say, it is late. It's about, I think it's just gone 10 o'clock. There'll be a little joiner in the end here. It's, obviously, it's going to have more than enough support at the back where it's all welded. So what I'll do is basically like a little joiner underneath to give it support right at the end. And that shouldn't go nowhere. Let's tuck the other one on. Pushing my luck, <laughs> pushing my luck with the noise. Oh, 
There we go. There we go. Another job nearly done. I'll say I can't do no more. It, it's gone 10 o'clock, so I can't really do any more cutting. But they're about there. It just gives you an idea that you can modify standard footrest. Uh, let's say these can get quite expensive, these wider footrests. I'm guessing for the correct fitment for these, I don't know, because I guess you could get like the hanging points all at different angles. I don't know. I say I might end up doing this with mine, but all I want to do now is put a little bit of support at the very end. It can be a bit of round bar underneath or cut a tiny piece and drop it in right at the end there. Or we can do a flat strip right at the end just to give it a little bit of support. I'll say it's, they are really strong, but uh, I think it'd be better with just a tiny little bit passing in that bit there right at the end or across we'll see we'll see which is the best way and the neatest way so yeah there we go i've tried searching for these strips on ebay i can't find them uh if mick watches this i'll see if he'll drop a, a link in the comments if that'll work i'm not sure I, I, i'm guessing a bit but i think I think they're about seven pounds or something like that for the strip. So that is far cheaper than any footrest that you'll buy, like the wide ones. Anyway, that'll do. It's getting late. I've, at least I've got another little job about finished. No doubt it's going to be a busy weekend with visitors and getting other jobs done. So I'm looking forward to that. Anyway, cheers for watching, guys. Take care, and I'll see you very soon.